Once you log in, you'll head to the green crest that says Tax Explanations, where we have our industry separation. What we've done is researched the taxability of tens of thousands of different products and services consistently in every state. What we've done to make sense of all that information is organized it by industry. So whether it's a sale or a purchase that you're researching, you're gonna to go to the industry that's most closely related to the item in question. Today, we're focusing on software. So we're gonna head down to the technology industry. Now you have categories within that industry, like hardware or co-location or software itself, which could be favorited to your homepage if you'd like. We'll go ahead and do that. Click into software. We select the state where that software is being used or where our concern is. Let's go to California. Now on the left-hand side, we've taken the 42 explanations and divided them into four different categories. So we have canned and custom software sales and canned and custom software licenses. If we go to number one, canned software sales, we define what software and canned software are for the state and then get into the taxability of various use types and delivery methods. So if we click on number five, can software delivered electronically or downloaded for business use? You can see in the first sentence of the explanation, we give you a tax answer. This item is not taxable. The sale or lease of canned software is not taxable when no tangible personal property is transferred to the customer. That explanation being the interpretation of California authority saves you the time at this essentials level of having to go through the authority from California because right here, you've got an answer.